The selection of a 13th senator from within the NGO community has seen a short list of several candidates. Nominees for the remaining seat in Upper Parliament have been chosen from organizations that are presently in good standing, including Oceania in Belize, BTIA, and the Belize Council for the Visually Impaired. Among them is Janelle Chanona, current Vice President of Oceania in Belize. As a result of her nomination, she has relinquished her post on the 13th Senator Steering Committee. I think it, it goes without saying that being um, trusted, um, even considered for this type of, of undertaking is very humbling and I'm, I'm you know, um, very keen on not making light of that and taking that as seriously as it is. I think any um, and all availabilities, opportunities for you to serve uh, the Belizean public is, is you know, just an incredible opportunity, and I, I uh, wholeheartedly embrace that opportunity with the support of my family and my employer and my friends. Um, but I, I do realize that public service, as, as uh, great an opportunity as it is, is very challenging. So I also accept the nomination, accepted the nomination um, very soberly because it, it will require 110% um, to represent um, the important um, group of people as the NGO organizations are. As a, as a blind and visually impaired, impaired person, I, I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a real, real it's a, it will be a challenge. It will be a, it will be a challenge for me. I would have to employ myself a lot to, to prove uh, that I can do what I can do. How was your name entered into this entire uh, race, so to speak? Well, I've been with BCVI from conception of BCVI when BCVI was BCVI at Red Cross. And I, I started from, from then until now. And they decided that I'm a grassroots Belizean. They know I'm a native Belizean. Do you believe that based on the high demands and expectations of the Belizean society insofar as politics is concerned, that you would be able to deliver on behalf of the NGO community in upper parliament? I would, I would think so. It won't be difficult as long as you, you, you know you follow the script, you follow instructions, you get, you get people around you who help you, people around you who would help you. You would analyze things yourself and you put heads together and I think it would work, it could work. On January 3rd, we, um, we nominated Mr. Edelberto Romero as a as a candidate um, for this uh, for the for the process, um, subsequent to that, he, uh, he had initially he had initially declined, um, and then um, then said that he would accept. In that space of time, I was called surprise surprise. I was nominated by Help Age, um, and I accepted since he had declined. Um, but since I learned yesterday that he had accepted, um, since he is our candidate that we nominated, it wouldn't be wise that both of us be on the same on the same ticket, and that is why I have declined. Um, but I think what is important in all of this is that the NGO community is demonstrating that they are using a process. Um, there, it's been a mature process. I think it's been um, iterative because we are learning as we go along. I mean, we. The, the, the steering committee has taken the opportunity to meet with um, the Belize Chamber of Commerce. They have met with different people to understand how they did their, their selection process in, in, in the past. So Mr. Salas and I were both um, on the 13th Senator Steering Committee, but once our nominations were submitted, he and I both um, resigned from that just to, to make sure that there was no perception uh, of conflict of interest there. Reporting for News 5, I am Isani Kayetano.